Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain you design loads on the purlins of industrial building near Vishakhapatnam. Nothing but uh, in purlins, how much of uh, loads acting? So we are going to design. So as per the given data, this is the data given. Class of building, terrain, maximum dimensions, width of building, height of the level. So like that permeability, everything was given. So while calculating this uh, in solution, the first one is dead load calculations. As per IS 875 part 1, width of sheeting including laps and connectors for uh, AC sheets that is asbestos cement sheets. So for that the code is specifying that 170 Newton per meter square to 200 Newton per meter square. So I am considering 170 and self weight of the purlin I assumed as 100 Newton per meter square. So total dead load on the purlin is nothing but 170 plus 100. I got 270. And spacing of the purlins is given that is 1.35 meters. So to, uh, dead load on the purlin we need uh, how much dead load acting on the purlin that is 270 into spacing. So I got 364.5 Newton per meter. And after that live load. So live load they given the span of the truss that is 15 meters and pitch is given that is 1 by 5. Now we are going to calculate the rise. So the rise means so it arises 1 by 5 into 15. So 15 is nothing but span of the truss. So if suppose this is the truss member and this is 15 meters. Now we are going to calculate the tan theta. Okay. So this is tan theta formula opposite side by adjacent side. So opposite side is 3 meters and adjacent side is total is 15 meters. If suppose this, this is total, the total is 15 meters and half of this is 7.5 meters and 7.5 meters. So opposite side by adjacent side. So theta equal to tan inverse 3 by 7.5. I got theta value 21.8 degrees. After that, live load on purlin. Okay. So live load on purlin, we, uh, up, to, uh, up to now we calculated the angle and live load on purlin as per IS 875 part 2. And the code is providing some provisions. I mean these two provisions. Up to slope 10 degrees. We need to take 750 Newton per meter square. But here our angle is I mean our slope is 21.8 degrees theta value but here the code is specifying that more than 10 degree slope we need to consider this formula okay our value is 21.8 degrees that's why I'm considering this second one so live load on Perlin is 750 minus 20 theta is 21.8 minus 10 this formula is available in I said it's for part 2 I got 514 Newton per meter square so spacing of the Perlin is 1.35 meters so live load equal to 514 into 1.35 I got this value next I am going to calculate wind load as per IS 875 basic wind velocity near Vishakhapatnam that is 50 meters per second so here I am calculating the risk coefficient and terrain factor and topography factor so k1 k2 k3 so as per table I am taking k1 as 1 okay and k2 uh, uh, this one is mentioned in question that is category 2 class build class b building with height 10 meters the value is 0.98 okay and this is also available in IS 875 and K3 is topography factor as per the map we are referring uh, in Vishakhapatnam area the K3 value is 1 so design wind speed the formula Vz equal to K1 K2 K3 into Vb so I, I got 49 meters per second like that we are going to calculate all this and the next one is wind pressure coefficients we need to calculate so wind pressure coefficients is nothing but h by w this is the uh, if suppose this is our truss member okay this is our diagram and this is the height of this building so that is 10 meters 10 divided by width of the building that is 15 meters which is given in question so 2 by 3 so when wind angle is 0 degrees for slope 21.8 degrees we got this slope so when wind angle is 0 degrees here uh, while we are calculating the wind angle the code is specifying some formula so that is CPE so CPE means nothing but on windward side so have you seen this diagram if suppose this is our building so this is the windward side and this is called leeward side actually wind is acting this in this direction so this is windward side and this is leeward side okay so I'm using interpolation by the tabular form uh, I'll show you the tabular form okay in this tabular form 
the values are there the same diagram i have taken here have you seen this this is windward side and this is leeward side by using these values if suppose this is 10 meters our building height is 10 meters okay and zero degrees angle so i am going to interpolate these two values okay so like that we are going to calculate the cpe value here okay 0.7 plus 1.8 by 10 into 0.5 so 1.8 is nothing but 21.8 minus 20 and 20 minus 10 because our value is in between 20 into 20 in between 20 to 10 because 15 meters is our value so we are going to interpolate uh, 20 i mean 10 value and 20 value okay like that we are going to solve this one by using interpolation so i got minus 0.61 after that on leeward side i got uh, minus 0.5 as per table and next when wind angle is 90 degrees here when wind angle is 0 degrees and wind angle is 90 degrees i got the value same interpolation i have done on wind side and leeward side okay i got these two values after that internal wind pressure coefficient we need to calculate so for a building with me medium permeability in question he mentioned that and the permeability is medium have you seen this yeah here permeability is medium for that uh, uh, by referring is 875 the code is mentioned that i have uh, i will show you the tabular form this is the tabular form internal pressure coefficient cpi so medium permeability we need to consider that cpi value is plus or minus 0.5 so like that i am considering that 0.5 value okay so the formula is design wind pressure on windward side that is f equal to cpe minus cpi into a into pd so cpe nothing but external pressure coefficient and cpi means internal pressure coefficient into a into pd so already we got the pd value so like that i'm going to calculate these values so area is nothing but we need to consider the external surface area a is nothing but external surface area but here uh, the width of the building is 15 meters okay and uh, span of the truss is uh, sorry span of the truss is 15 meters and width of the building is total uh, ten, uh, i mean height of the building is 10 meters here we need to consider as 150 but i took here uh, from 15 half of this distance i mean 7.5 into 10 i took okay so for that purpose i got 75 as area remaining all values i substituted so i got uh, minus 1468.0 newton per meter square for leeward side and windward side minus 3240 newton per meter square for perlin design dead load plus live load equal to 364.5 added both the values dead load and live load i got 1.094 and wind load minus 3240 we got the value here into spacing of the truss that is 1.35 i got minus 4.374 that means hence perlin should be designed for ultimately we are going to design the loads the lo loads acting on the perlin so live load plus dead load of 1.05 kN per meter acting vertically downward because we got the negative value and next dead load of 0.365 kN meter acting vertically downward on wind load of 4.374 kN per meter because we got the negative value that's why i wrote it as vertically downward okay like that we are going to design the uh, perlin loads how much load acting on the perlin that is design of uh, live loads and dead loads and wind load okay i hope you understood this thank you so much thanks for watching